Here's our new ET Wave 3 inflatable kayak. Good for two to three people. More comfortable with two people though. If you have two adults, more comfortable. You can probably put a small child in the middle. So we just rigged this up for two seats. Today we we're testing out the drill paddle that I made. And later we're gonna test out my uh, wind paddle. We're gonna sail back. Since we went into the wind, we're gonna sail all the way back. Got plenty of storage here. You can see I got plenty of room to put stuff. You've got a storage underneath here, which that's where I put the bag for the kayak. It's a backpack kayak. It's got bungees on it, adjustable inflatable seats, plenty of room. The deck's got Velcro down the center so you can adjust the seats forward and backward. And uh, here's something I did. This is different. Well, of course I got leash paddles on here. But what I did is I cut some foam out from a foam noodle. I put them on the ends of the, kayak, of the paddle blades. That way when you're paddling, the water doesn't really drip down and get you. And if you guys haven't tried this yet, and you like kayaking, do this, man. It really, really takes a lot of the water. Hello. Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? I don't know. So anyways, if you put these on your kayak paddle, just slide them up a few inches. This thing really stops the water from coming down and hitting your hands. Be back in a minute. We're here at a local resort. We paddled down and uh, used the motor to get here. Right now we're at uh, Uncle Mike's. It's a public swimming area. Great snorkeling area too, and just about a uh, hundred yards away from me is the wall that drops down for hundreds of feet. Great for scuba diving and uh, free diving. All right, we'll be back. You guys, here's something I want to share. I saw this on uh, YouTube, so I'll give the credit to whoever made these. Uh, take a foam pool noodle, and if it doesn't have a hole, cut a hole in it. Just slide it a few inches up past the paddle, because right here, this doesn't stop the water from coming down. I'll paddle a little bit and just watch these. These things are great. The water barely comes in the kayak. I'll just paddle around a little bit. You can see that the drips from the paddle, they don't run down onto my hand. So these drip stoppers really help from getting water running down your hand, down your arm. I said it's a huge difference, costs almost nothing to make them. You could probably put anything there. 